Banners display messages that anyone logging onto the router can see. You can use them to identify the router or your company, give users directions, issue legal disclaimers or warnings, and so on. The four types of banners shown here display at various times during the login or startup sequence. Configuring banners is easy, but there are a few tricks you need to know. First, you need to be in global configuration mode to set banners. Use the banner command to set all four banners. In this demonstration, we'll configure the three most common. Simply follow the banner command with the keyword for the type of banner you want to configure. The message of the day banner displays first and appears on all connected terminals. Now comes the tricky part. You need to specify a delimiting character, a start and stop symbol that you aren't going to use in the body of the banner. Because the banner text can span multiple lines, the delimiting character tells the router when the banner text stops. We'll use the pound sign as our delimiting character. Anything you type now is considered part of the banner until you use the delimiting character again. This includes other characters, hard returns, spaces, and so on. The banner will appear on screen exactly as you type it here. Now let's set the login banner. This banner displays after the message of the day banner and before the login prompt. We need to specify a delimiting character, so we'll use the pound sign again. Here's the other tricky part of setting banners. If you do not include a hard return either at the end of the message of the day banner or at the beginning of the login banner, the two will run together on screen and appear on the same line. To avoid this, we'll start the login banner with a hard return. Finally, we'll set the exec banner. This is the message users see after a successful login. We'll set it in the same way as the other two, using the same delimiter. First, we'll insert a hard return, just to keep in practice. Second, we'll type the banner text, ending with the delimiting character. Now that we've set the banners, we can look at how they're stored in the configuration file. The banner information is stored near the end of the file. As you can see, the banner text appears exactly as we typed it. However, the router has replaced our delimiting character with the Ctrl-C character to enclose the banner text. Now that we've set all the banners, let's see what they look like on screen. When a connection is made, the message of the day banner displays first, followed by the login banner, followed by the login prompt. After login, the exec banner is displayed before the router prompt. You can get very fancy with banners. Remember that every keystroke you include between the delimiting characters appears on screen. Just be sure to start and end banners with hard returns so they don't run together. In review, you can set four banners for the router, message of the day, login, exec, and incoming. Use the banner command in global configuration mode, followed by the banner keyword. The delimiting character identifies the body of the banner text, but it is not displayed on screen as part of the banner.